Hey there, it's Corey and Denise from Does Size Matter. We got another RV review for you today. We're super excited to show you the 2021 New Camp Tab 320S. We will link to the nuts and bolts construction at the end, so make sure you watch to that. But today we are here at the Travelland RV Center in Kelowna, BC, Canada, and we can't wait to show you these. Uh, don't forget everything Corey and I are telling you, just based on our opinion from the research that we do and the fun we have doing it. And one of those uh, resources is available to you as well in the description. So click on that link as well. And let's get started having a look at this unit. I mean, unit. I mean, these are cool. They're very small. They're light. You can tow them with an SUV. And I mean, they got most of the stuff you need. I mean, she she's no beaver, <laughs> but you can, uh, you can really enjoy one of these. They are light enough that you can move them by hand. So that's kind of cool. Anyways, what we wanted to show you is that there are choices that you can uh, have. And this particular one has the kitchen inside, but the, uh, there's another option that would have an outdoor kitchen on it. There is also boondocking packages that you can add and they would have things like um, a different step system, uh, heavier duty tires with a different pitch on the axle, uh, all the way around to uh, these kinds of boxes on the front and big um, sort of platforms that you can put more stuff on and things like that. But you also have to remember that those are options and they add to the cost and they also add to the weight. So think about all of those things, but if this uh, more basic version is the one that you wanna go with, we're gonna show it to you. You do get a uh, manual jack, which isn't a big deal. These are super light, so not a big deal that you've got that. Um, and then you do get this nice compartment here, which has one 20 pound propane tank in it and room for your batteries to go in there. So that's kind of nice. Um, you do get the rock guard and the handles. You also get acrylic windows. Acrylic windows are thermal pane and they also are lighter weight. Uh, different than a lot of rigs that we see here in North America, but that they're used all over the world in other places, Europe, that kind of thing. Um, and if they were to get a little scratch or something on it, you could just buff it out. So that's kind of cool. Let's go around the driver's side and see what else. Oh, okay, so for 2021, this is a new feature and it is a cassette toilet. So again, um, you, you see them on B's and B pluses, mostly B's though. So this is your black tank. So this is a blue job at our place anyways, but you women can do it too. You just lift up the little green thing and it pulls it out. And it's like, uh, it's just a portable black tank. You take it to the dump, you dump it in there, stick it back in and you're good to go coming back gotta love these circular windows that's one of my favorite things it's just so cute unique this is uh, without that boondock package so these are the basic tires that are going to come with it it's a trailer king rst let me read it uh, st205 slash 75r14 they do come standard with an aluminum wheel. And remember you're on a single axle here and it has the uh, torsion axle. Go to the nuts and bolts where you can learn more about that, but gives it a little better ride. Nice big windows, antenna. Um, and this is your 30 amp connection. And let's see what's in here. They do have magnets to hold up your doors. Oh, okay, so this is your utility bay. We've seen this on other rigs, so this is just a smaller version. You got your battery disconnect, you've got your tank flushes, uh, you can fill with water here, those kinds of things, and then you can put it down through the opening and through here, and you're good. The other thing that New Camp is doing is they're using an Aldi system. This is a boiler system for heat 
and hot water. It's a complex system. Go see the nuts and bolts where we show it to you and give you a little more information about it. And here's your outdoor shower. See if I can get in there. Yeah. So there is an outdoor shower. That's pretty handy to have, whether it's your, your toys, your pets, your feet, whatever. They do um, have an angle to them, which gives you the clearance. And underneath there, I hope you can see, uh, is where the stabilizer jacks are and the place to put your sewer hose. I'm just looking. Oh yeah, got to get way down there, <laughs> way down low. And you can see the gray pulp. And then around the back, again, more handles, cool shape. Um, and on the boondock package, there's racks and things, there's solar, all that kind of stuff. Now here, this little thingy is so that you can bring your lagoon table outside and set it up and you have electrical there. You do get an aluminum step that just folds up inside and your door opens and tucks into here to keep it open and again has that very cool round window which also has a shade and i love that has a garbage in it a little bit of storage for a few things it's just a neat shape it's a unique rig i like it come on let's go inside she's a small one <laughs> One thing I also wanted to show you is that you get this great screen. So you can leave the door open, bugs are out, but you still get the full advantage. You're not just getting a window, you get the whole door. So I like that. Let's close her up tight. Okay, so would my brother-in-law like this door? <laughs> Probably not. I don't know that he'd like the headroom in this trailer. <laughs> I don't think he would. So again, every trailer's different. And for different folks, there are different priorities and needs. So just keep that in mind. Kitchen. So in the S, you get the kitchen on the inside. Uh, not a ton of countertop space, but again, you're getting a lot of stuff inside this small space. Um, so here's your cooktop, two burner, propane. It's kind of nice, I like it. Uh, with the cover on top so you can work on there. I love this window and I love the way these blinds work. So this is your daytime and then this is the nighttime. So that's cool too. Pretty decent size sink for a trailer this small with a pretty decent uh, tap. Liking that and there's um, room to put cords and things because inside the storage there is plug-in and 12 volt power and USB power in there. And there is also more storage down there. So that's fair amount. And then over to this side, you get a, I believe it's a 12 volt refrigerator with a teeny, teeny little ice box. Oh, do you see that eye? The, the opening to the ice box is magnetic. How many times have we been fighting with an icebox lid trying to get stuff in and out and your, this lid keeps coming down on you? So <laughs> that is a little thing, but adds a lot of convenience. And down here, you get quite a decent sized drawer. I like that. And I like these uh, little latches for securing. Up here, hidden, is just a little bit of space, but you can fit some stuff in there. And it's good to use every little bit of space you can. There is a light strip back here as well. And then over here, we get a wet bath. Come on in. This is pretty cool. It's a decent size. Um, what we would like very much about this wet bath is it has a little sink back here. So you could brush your teeth or whatever. The, um, the tap for the sink is also your shower head, which I guess hooks in there. I mean, I know it's not really tall, but it's perfect. It doesn't bother us at all. <laughs> and for each one of us, we have different priorities, right? So you do get your toilet here, uh, again. Also kind of small, but it's there. 
your um, shower base. You get a very cool round little porthole window that just does that to shut. And you get a mirror and lighting. So we can we like it. I mean, we've been in wet baths before that weren't as nice as that. At the back here, moving back, you get a small uh, microwave. And indeed it is small, but we're in a small trailer. And it's low enough that you can put stuff in and out. You do get a TV. Um, it's latched now, but it'll come out and move around so you can watch it from wherever. And I will get you the size of that TV. And then you move back into what would be your sitting and eating or whatever and bed area. You get great windows, which I love. It's a small space and it lets in lots of light. And I'm just going to show you how they open. There's a little button here that you push and turn on each side. And then these ones also open. Push it out and tighten these little screws. And you get some great airflow, which is nice. It's a hot day. But all the bugs are coming in, right? Nope. You can pull that screen down. That's great. If you want complete privacy, you just lift that one up. That's great. If you want to say maybe at night, you want that to be give you privacy, but you'd still like some venting from the window, you can do that. So it's, I like those blinds a lot and they're on both windows. You also get a max air fan up there and light up there. The other thing then is you get this lagoon tabletop, which you could take out and put at the outside as well. And it just ugh, moves around into whatever configuration you want it to be in. And then this is also your bed space, right? So you're just going to pull out these pieces here and move your cushions into place. And then you get a big bed. These are going to fold back into the space back there. And you also have storage here and here. So that's good. And then uh, I, you could put your bedding and stuff back there because you got to have a place to put it, right? Um, and you get some lighting and speakers. You get storage space up here. I mean, they're just small little cubbies, but they do the trick, right? And there's some on the other side as well. That's the 2021 New Camp Tab S, but I want to give you the numbers. So let's take a look at those. Uh, the exterior length is uh, just over 18 feet. The exterior width is about six foot seven. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remember because these are in inches and I'm trying to make them in feet for you. The exterior height is just under eight feet. The sleeping area in here is 70 by 71 inches. Um, the fresh water tank is 11 gallons. The gray water tank is 19 gallons. And it says here in the brochure that the black water tank is eight gallons. But remember, that's a, the cassette toilet. So it's not an actual tank. Um, they're giving you the gross axle weight, which they're saying is 2,900 pounds. And then they give you the total wet weight, which is 2,119 pounds. Um, so it depends on, of course, what all they're including in wet and what your cargo carrying capacity could be. So we will uh, try and come up with some more numbers on that for you. So that is the Tab S. Hope you guys have liked it. Give us a thumbs up. Share your comments with us on, you know, whether it's the trailer for you or not. And if you're an owner, we'd love to hear your perspective. Otherwise, hit the subscribe button. Click on the end to get to the Nuts and Bolts construction or come on one of our adventures. Maybe come to Alligator Alley. That was a fun one. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'd love having you along. Thanks for watching.